welcome to Inside the Shed. I'm Steve Hearn and coming up on today's show I'm looking at the iPad, the iMac, the iPhone and a very cool app that you can download from the App Store for free. All that's coming up straight after this. The app we're looking at today is Evernote. It's an app that allows you to capture information, ideas, thoughts, business cards, data and uh, put it all into one place and manage that information. It's very cool and one of the really good things about this app is it runs across different platforms. You can use it on your main computer and that can be either a PC or a Mac. You can run it on your mobile phone and that can be from Android phones through to the iPhone and you can also use it and work it across the iPad. So it's a very cool app and as I mentioned at the beginning, it's absolutely free to download to these devices. So the first thing you'll want to do with your main PC or your Mac is go to the website, which is www.evernote.com and there on the website, as you can see here, is everything about Evernote. You're able to create an account and also download the software to your main computer from the website. Once you've done that, you can open Evernote and this is what it looks like and here you can start creating notes and notes are basically where you would capture information very similar to a sticky note or a piece of paper where you would just write something down a piece of information or something that you want to remember later so this software allows you to bring all that information together and then transfer it across the platforms as I mentioned earlier here you can create notes you can manage them, you can create um, a notebook, a new notebook, so we can create a new notebook, we call it a name, let's say uh, we're going to call it camera and it's going to be synchronized because I can run it across my iPad and my iPhone, we press create and on the left hand side we have the camera notebook and I can create new notes in there, I can just press create note and I can say model and here I'm just going to put in I have a Nikon D80 camera so you can create this information and store it with Evernote like this and then we just um, you can add tags so with tags it allows you to search later so we can put some tags that are relevant in there which is quite easy to do and that's all stored here I've created a uh, notebook which is business card manager and it allows me to um, capture business cards from people as you can see here uh, one of the um, villas in Florida that we use the information's all there and that was taken by my iPhone and I'll show you that in, in a moment but there's a camera notebook again and there's the note for the model of the camera that I use. So that's how it works on the main computer and on the left hand corner up here is a sync and you can then press that and that will sync across the other platforms once you've downloaded the app on the other platform. So your iPhone and your iPad you'll need to go to the App Store and download the app to those devices. So here's the iPhone and here you can see Evernote the app on my iPhone and I which I've downloaded from the App Store you just press that once and it opens and it's just saying synchronization is in progress so it's working across from the uh, Mac where we was just a moment ago um, but we can go to uh, notes down here just click on notes there we are and there we have the notes I've created and as you can see here this one is a bit clearer on, on here is the uh, note I created for the Cameron um, notebook and this is the note within that which is the model of my camera um, so as you can see it's worked and it's uh, it's very cool and here I've got many others I had um, this one is the plumber we had a note come through the door for a, a local plumber who's advertising his services so I was able to take a picture with the iPhone and just let me show you how that works so I have 
I've got a thank you note here. Uh, I'd say I wanted to ca capture that as a note, as a piece of information. So what I would do is go back to, on the iPhone here, go back to notes. And down here is a button for new note. I press new note and I can take a snapshot, click snapshot. And I just simply take a picture of what I have. And it's a little bit rough, so please excuse it. I just want to show you the function. Um, once you have the picture, you can then press use. You want to select that. And it now creates a note. And you just go back to notes here on the bottom of the function buttons here. And here we have, there we are, just created the new note. There's no title or any information, it's just a picture there. But that's how easy it is to use on the iPhone. But you can use it on any other mobile phone as well. Um, to be able to synchronize the phone needs to be able to connect to the internet obviously so it's in synchronize. Um, when you run Evernote for the first time on the phone you'll have to sign in with your account that you've created and then you can run the synchronization. So if we go back to the screen notes here and it's actually sending up the top here it's actually telling me it's sending the changes. Apologies for this uh, shooting around the screen. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can with this. It's a bit awkward trying to run the phone and see how I'm filming. So apologies for that. But um, it's synchronized now across. Um, you can also, there's a button here to sync. You can press sync on here and synchronize now. You can choose the option here. Just press that and that was synchronization in progress. So the information you run on the new notes you create on the iPhone will now sync across to the other platform, so that's the main computer and the iPad. So let's have a look at the iPad. The iPad with Evernote, as you can see the icon is on there, just press that once. I've downloaded the app to the iPad and it opens up and shows you the notebooks, or which are like folders, and these are actually created on the main computer. You aren't able to create notebooks on the iPad itself or on the iPhone, but on the main computer you can create the notebooks which are like folders and you can see them here. Here's the one here we did with camera on the computer just a few moments ago and it syncs across and there it is, the information's there. We go back, I've got some others here. Um, let's have a little look at um, yeah, art materials. <clears throat> it's some information I took, you can have the flexibility to capture a web page from the internet and create a note of that and what I did was uh, a friend of mine told me about a website that has some information about the chart pack markers and I've put that together here so it, it reminds me I know where to go for the website again um, it's captured within a notebook I've created for art materials and I can add to this so th this is just so handy it's just so useful and the main reason is because you can create this across as I said the phone and the main computer so that's kind of Evernote. Um, again, with the iPad, you can create a new note and you can um, edit notes that are already, already in there. So there's, there's a lot of functionality there. Um, it works very well. It's very, very good. I highly recommend it. And as I said before, one of the great things about this is it's uh, free to download. There's no cost involved. You can upgrade to a premium if you want to, but to get started, it's free. And uh, I would suggest if you have the uh, iPhone or a mobile phone and an iPad and a, a, a computer is uh, get hold of this, try it, have fun and experiment. There's a few more features I haven't gone through. We don't have enough time, sadly, but there's other stuff in there you can do with it as well. So it's very cool. So that's Evernote available from the App Store right now. So if, like me, you have lots of information you want to capture and, and refer back to, then Evernote is a great way to do that and manage that across your uh, computer, your phone, and the iPad. Okay, thank you for watching the show. I hope you found that useful. Um, it's great to see you again. And until next time, uh, have fun, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you soon.